Hey everybody, this is Luke with uh, ResTech Studios and we are back at it with a uh, quick tutorial on uh, World Creator 2 into Unreal Engine 4 using my uh, master material. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start a new project and we'll save it under tutorial and we'll just save it and we'll wait for it to load up. And let's go ahead and start with a flat terrain. All right, so we have a flat terrain. Um, now let's uh, start moving, making some, some things happen here. So let's go up, create a few mountains. Along the lines of that. And let's start editing some of these shapes here. Pretty happy with that. Very, very simple. Now let's um, start. Let's add a filter here. Go up here. Add a layer. Uh, let's do rigid. Uh, yeah, just regular rigid. Okay. So now we're starting to get some shapes going here. Uh, let's go back to our base. Let's make a few more edits. Liking that. That's gonna look good. Okay, so now that we got our, our base shape um, going here, we want to make sure that we actually have this incorrect Unreal Engine 4 units. So right now at the top right, you're seeing it's at 2048 by 2048. That's um, not the correct size that Unreal Engine uses. You can go online, you can find the tables for it, or you can just go into Unreal. You can go to Landscape, and you can set here. Um, already, its number of components is 16 by 16, which is, uh, I think it's a four kilometer squared map. So your overall resolution is actually not 2048 by 2048. It's actually 2017 by 2017. So we got to match these units. So what we want to do is you want to take this 2017 number, go back over to World Creator, and we're just going to go 2017. That's 2017. So now it actually has the correct size of the map. Um, if you leave it at 2048, what happens is when you import it into Unreal Engine 4, um, it will tell you right off the bat that the map does not meet the size of Unreal, but you can import it anyways. And when you do import it anyways, you'll get this weird uh, stretching of the map um, kind of at the end. And that's not what you want. You want an actual perfect, uh, nice import. So you should not get any type of errors or asking you to, do you want to import anyways? So now that we have 2017 by 2017, what we want to do is you want to go ahead to the export button. Um, if it's not on by default, uh, click the Unreal Engine and click 16-bit uh, is what you want for your raw file. Make sure it's under raw. And then here's a very important one is you want to flip the Y. Um, you want to do this because when we start doing texturing, um, it, it's going to be completely off if you don't flip the Y on your actual export. Your entire texture will be flipped, um, so it just nothing will match up. So you want to flip the Y, and you want to hit Export. And we're going to export it here in Tutorial. And height map, save. Okay. So um, now let's actually do our texturing. Um, this is one thing that I really do like about uh, World Creator 2 is the actual uh, texturing and how easy it is. So we're going to add a layer and we're going to add. And right now let's just add our base layer. So we'll just, uh, let's do regular grass. So there's our grass layer. Now let's, uh, let's create a new layer. Click on it. Add layer. We're gonna do just sand. Now, these textures are just what come with the engine. This is not what's gonna be in Unreal. This is just to give you a visual representation of what your heat map's gonna look like. So this is our second layer, this is our sand. So what we wanna do is we wanna just base this off of slope. Um, you can do height, uh, slope, angle. Um, it's kind of up to you on what type of texturing that you wanna do. But for this instance, we're gonna do slope. 
And I don't want it to be 90 degrees. I want it to come down a little bit. I just want to get a nice, good transition between sand, um, the rock that we're going to be using, and the grass. So. along the lines of that should be fine looking good uh go a little bit more up yeah there you go okay so that's a good sand um layer so let's uh, add another layer this one's going to be rock so we'll add a layer we'll add some rock now here is going to stay at 90 degrees we're just going to work our way up We want a good transition to still be able to kind of see the the sand kind of merge up with the rock. So we're just going to kind of keep going, creeping up a little bit. About right there. That's looking pretty good. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to actually save out these heat maps. So um, with all, when all of your heat maps are selected, you want to start at the bottom and work your way up. You don't want to go top to bottom. You want to go bottom to top. Uh, you can really kind of do it any way you want, but just the way I do it. So you have a save heat map here. So with all of them checked, you want to save heat map. And it's going to ask you, yes, you want to save it. It already kind of has the stone on there, uh, stone six heat map, and it's already under PNG, which is great. So you're going to save that out. Then you can uncheck the one that you just uh, saved out. Then you want to click on this layer. You want to save heat map. It's going to ask you to save this heat map. You go, yes. You want to uncheck. Click this one. Save heat map. And save heat map. Yes. Okay. Simple enough. So now we're going to go in Unreal. We're going to import from file under your landscape here. We're going to choose the file that we want to. So we're going to choose desktop tutorial, tutorial. And here's our height map. Just going to click on that. So 2017, uh, probably going to want something along the lines of 5260. We'll see what happens when we do this. Import. So as you see, I didn't get any type of error. It literally just um, walked right in there. So looks like we have a little bit too much fog in this probably because it's. We'll bring it up a little bit. There we go. So looking pretty good. Looks like we can probably up it a little bit, but let's do that. Let's go to uh, 80. And bring it up just a tiny bit. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and we can add our textures in there. So we're going to click on the landscape. I'm going to go Res Tech Studios. We're going to go Landscape Material, Tessellated Material. You can use non tessellated if you want, but we're going to use Tessellated. And we're going to click on Material Instance. We're going to drag and drop right over here. It's going to take a second. So now you're going to have a black terrain right now because we haven't added any of our layer info. So we want to go up here to Landscape under Paint. You can have all your layers here, and obviously they say none right now. So we need to uh, tell the engine what each layer actually is and what its function is. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to click. And just click on all these layers here. Simple enough. All right. So now we actually have somewhat of a textured terrain right now. So now what we need to do is we need to start using those um, heat maps to... Uh, or heat, or I guess you could say height maps to tell um, the engine what's going on with uh, our lettering. So we're going to start off with our grass layer. So start here, grass one. We're going to import from file. We're going to click on this right here. Should make the entire terrain grass at this point. There you go. Entire terrain is grass. Now we're going to go click on our dirt one, right click. Import from file. We're going to click on our ground caustics heat map, which is basically our dirt. I'm going to open that up. Uh, you will get this error uh, sometimes. It's literally just because World Creator doesn't. Uh, it, it 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 
imports it, or I'm sorry, exports it as a colored PNG, not a grayscale. Um, this is no big deal. It's just Unreal saying, hey, this is not a grayscale. I noticed, um, I don't know what type of information is on it. Um, however, it will import just fine. It's just a little message saying that it's not a grayscale. It is a color PNG, which is completely fine because the only thing that's actually on there is black and white. So we're going to click OK. And you'll see there's our dirt layer coming through. Looking pretty good. So now we just need to import our rock layer. So we're going to right click, import our stone six heat map. Again, it just says it's a color PNG, not grayscale, not a big deal. Hit OK. Takes a second, and there you go. So now, as you can see, we have an entire landscape simply brought in from World Creator to Unreal Engine and looking pretty good. Now, this was extremely quick, obviously. Um, I just used two, um, I just used um, a couple layers. You can use as many layers as you would want. Um, I mean, I have a, up to six layers on my current material setup. However, you can add more layers to my material setup if you want you know, different type of biomes um, by chance. Uh, but you just got to keep in mind that if you start really saturating quads with a lot of different layers, then you're going to run into a lot of performance issues. Um, so you just want to kind of keep it down to at least four um, is generally a good number. Four to five would be really pushing it. But um, as of right now, yeah, this is how you would import something from uh, World Creator 2 into Unreal Engine. Extremely easy. All right. Thanks.